The city clock is saying it's four o'clock, so we will call the uh, September 28th Architecture Review Board to order. Uh, Steve, if I could trouble you for the roll call, please. And to make sure technology is working. Sounds good. Joel Clark. Present. Marcus. Present. Jerry Jones. Dick. Yes. Pam Langen. Bob Heimerl. Present. And Charlie Wig. Here. All right, thank you. Uh, let's go to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. For real. And any potential conflicts of interest from board members this afternoon? Hearing none, I will move to item 2.1, approval from the minutes of our August 24th meeting. So Mark, I'm motion to approve. I'm sorry, Dick motioned, and I didn't catch who seconded that. Dick. Marcus. 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 Great, thank you. <laughs> so we, we got multiple motions and seconds. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in, well, do we need to go through the roll, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see here. Joe? Aye. Marcus? Aye. Dick? Aye. Bob? Aye. And Charlie? Aye. All right. Thank you, everyone. Item 3.1 is construction of the new Quick Trip at Broadway and Business Drive, the former Vandevart property. Uh, has the presenter group joined us remotely? And Troy, uh, this is Jeff from Quick Trip. Troy, Troy got hung up in the rain here a little bit, but he's going to be there in a couple minutes. Uh, we are. You're Thanks. on your way in? Yeah, Troy, Troy is on his way in to your office there. So. Okay, so he's not here right now, Jeff, so if you want to go through the uh, drawings and we'll go from there. All right, sorry I wasn't, I guess, ready to present here, so let me, he, had, he just called me a second ago, Steve, so I apologize. No problem. I'm having a real hard time hearing we, we can hear you, so if you want to present, whenever you're ready to start presenting the drawings, um, they have them up before the, the board has them up. So if you want to go through it, Jeff, and go from there, we're ready to roll. All right. Uh, let me just pull up. I guess any particular order you want me to run in based on the application, or do you want me to just go through the overview of the building and? Yeah, I would just materials? go. I would just go through the, the the building itself, and if anyone has any site questions or things like that, we'll raise those questions. All right. So I see. I think you got the elevations pulled up there. Um, we've got a full uh, brick exterior facade. Uh, more of a burgundy red color is our main field color. Then almost an almond or sandstone color for accent on our brick soldier course in multiple locations. Um, we do have uh, a complementing ephus color, uh, stucco color in our gables, um, which is almond in color as well. And then also our, our fascia uh, is a complementing almond color, real similar uh, to the rest of the building. Um, and again, I guess our, our canopy um, also is complemented with that same almond fascia color um, as well. And then also with the canopies, we do have a, our nine foot columns. I know we, 
that was recommended because of our other locations within the city uh, as well. Um, our roof is standing seam metal roof, um, green in color as you can see. And then also our all of our windows, um, entry doors, uh, entry door systems are all aluminum, anodized aluminum in color with clear glass. And then the remainder of our doors, back of house doors, I guess you call it, uh, into the car wash, uh, mechanical rooms, and our delivery door are all um, either fiberglass or painted um, hollow metal doors um, that are, are painted to kind of blend in with our burgundy uh, brick within the building as well. Um, and then our car wash door really simulates the rest of the entry doors. Uh, anodized aluminum, uh, and then also a clear plastic um, uh, panel for uh, all of the car wash overhead doors. Um, also on the car wash, we do have our windows. Um, uh, sorry, my phone's ringing here. Uh, our car wash windows are um, glass block with a skewed view, I guess, so you're not seeing directly into the car wash or any of the equipment, lighting, uh, whatnot, but it does allow for nice natural light for people driving through the car wash. Um, I guess jumping into the site elements uh, around the building that you see as well. Um, let me just pull up a site plan. Get my orientation right here too. Just so you know, Jeff, uh, oh. Troy has arrived. He has, all right. But I you're doing such a good job, he's going to leave it up to you to take it all the way home. All right. I, again, I apologize. I wasn't ready here to jump through this, but let me just pull up the civil plan. Yeah, and that's all right. I, I think, Troy, I don't know if there's anything you want to add here as far as just kind of general sight, just kind of given a general. Um, Jeff has done a decent, uh, a good job as far as some of the architectural renderings. If there's anything that you really wanted to add to that. Oop, that microphone. Yeah, th I guess the biggest thing, just jumping into our site elements oh, yeah. that we had outlined in the application, oh. too. I don't know if that's applicable, Steve, with... Uh, we've got two uh, ice merchandisers would be on the east elevation. Um, these ice merchandisers are for back stock within the store. Um, we do not sell out of these ice merchandisers. They are off to the side near our wing wall, kind of protected from view from the front, main front elevation, the south elevation. Um, and then we also have a propane storage, uh, which we can obviously sell within the store on the south elevation, which would be our front. That is painted uh, burgundy in color as well uh, to complement the brick just so it doesn't stick out much. And again, those are just exchange when people come into our store and they meet, the attendant meets you outside. It is a locked cabinet, so uh, nobody can access those. Um, and then also the other element that we are selling underneath the canopy would be our we're proposing uh, softener salt, just another big bulky item that's tough to for people to carry out of the building. Um, and then the other real nice feature of this this building uh, design is we do have a integrated dumpster enclosure. Um, the dumpster enclosure is in the far northeast corner of our building, kind of the the L-shaped building per se, uh, right near the entrance of the car wash. Um, we implemented this a few years ago and it's really nice, um, easy accessible for our store and then also really complements the building with um, the full brick uh, wall and then also a composite material for the dumpster gate uh, to tie it really, really nice into the building element and not, not be sticking out by itself on the, on the site. Um, I guess that's that's really it as far as the overall building materials, site elements. I guess Troy, anything else you want to add? Yeah, thanks, Jeff. No, I appreciate.
the time. Sorry again for being late. The rain took an extra 15 minutes today. It followed me all the way over, but uh, at least it's not snowing yet, so that's yeah. good. Uh, just on the site plan, as uh, Jeff kind of pointed out, the access points are up Broadway. There isn't a direct access off South Business. Um, the site itself will have a shared access on the far west with the Oscar apartment project, so it's technically on the quick trip parcel, but it'll also serve as an access point for the, the Oscar project, so we've got a, a shared access point on the far west of the site. Um, the circulation we've got kind of set up with uh, uh, keeping that uh, truck feeling closest to business drive, so kind of keeping that uh, more intense use closest to business drive. The fuel canopy would be between the front door of the store and Broadway. And then the car wash element, as Jeff mentioned, is integrated into the, the north end of the, of the convenience store. Uh, park, parking along two facades of the building, both uh, south and west, and then some ancillary parking uh, to, the, to the west across the drive aisle. Landscaping, what we've done is try to push that landscape elements to the perimeter of the site, including the far north and east. Uh, being conscious that obviously we're going to have residential uh, with the Oscar apartments to the north to kind of uh, put those screening elements where we can in the best, most effective spots. So with that, I'll turn it back to you, Steve. Thanks. All right. Great. Thank you. Uh, I didn't see a building section through here. Is the roof also forming a roof screen for the mechanicals? It is. Jeff, if you want to jump in, I, again, I'm not the architect, but basically it is a hip roof system with a flat roof down and, and okay. those elements sit in kind of the bathtub, if you will. So those parapet walls come up on each of the four sides and then the mechanicals, HVAC, sit down in that, in that bathtub. Okay. Other questions? It is, or it is a full enclosure just to, I guess, fully enclose all of our mechanicals and have no, no view of, of any of the mechanicals over the top of the roof. Essentially, a, a yeah, a flat roof with a parapet to give it the element of a roof similar to residences in the area and whatnot. Other questions or comments from the board? Charlie and Marcus, you guys remotely, anything from your end? Thanks for asking. I've got nothing uh, that is of any importance on this project to ask. Okay. I had one really nitpicky question that really doesn't matter all that much, but I'm curious. Uh, there was a detail in the package we got at the main entry of the gutters on the main entry gable. Um, it didn't look as if they had downspouts connecting them to the main gutter system. Just curious how that was intended to work. Yeah, Jeff, do you know the answer to that one? It's on the sheet. Yeah, I'm wondering if you'd plan. view um, all of the all of the downspouts do come off of the building and then are actually buried below grade to the storm sewer system within the sidewalk, so they all are are fully buried and running to grade and below grade. This one, yeah, this. Detail seven yeah. on a two something. Uh, a two hundred. Detail seven on a two hundred. All right, let me just look at it quick. In fact, the the gutter was labeled as fascia. Maybe blow it up one more. All right. Detail seven, he said. All right. Yeah, so that that front vestibule actually drains down onto the lower roof in this area down to the gutter that actually connects to the downspout. So there's no actual physical downspout coming off of that higher short run of Gutter per se. Does that make sense? 
No. So is there a gutter there or not? So does the there is a gutter on that short portion hanging out over the sidewalk just mm -hmm. to capture that so it's not running down on the front entry, and it, the back side is draining onto the lower roof and then okay. there's another gutter. So you've got the punch that, through for the downspout above the roof. You it, just don't have a downspout. So I think, I think Jeff, is it fair to say that vestibule, that short gutter, if you will, is pitched back towards the rest of the main roof yeah, section, and, it, and then I it guess drains. It is. Yeah, it, it is labeled as fascia, but there is a gutter there. Okay. We're just trying to think through the drainage systems and yeah, if I, th I'm I think if it's on when I walk in the side door there. Yeah, I think if it's similar to the gable on my house, we've got the, the gutter that catches off and then it drains back onto the lower roof, which is down in this section, okay. and then runs down to the next gutter that then takes it to the internal downspout that's piped underneath. And I do apologize for such a picky question. I was just no, that, curious. No, that's a good question. Oh, I haven't had that one before. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think our intention, Jeff, is it fair to say we're not going to have water sheet draining off the vestibule to right where the customers are coming in? We would. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Great. Anything else? Otherwise, I would entertain a motion. Motion to approve. We have a motion from Dick. Do I hear a second? A second from Bob. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Steve, if you could call the roll for the vote, please. Joe? Aye. Marcus? Aye. Dick? Aye. Bob? Aye. And Charlie? Aye. Perfect. It is unanimous. Thank you very much. It will be nice to see that going in. What kind of time frame are you looking at for uh, getting a start? To grade the site and get everything ready for us, but we're looking to see if it would be either uh, this time next year or worst case, probably spring of 22. Okay. A ways out there yet. Yeah. Great. We're excited too. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Yeah. And then we'll see you again, same time tomorrow, same place. No rain. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Snow. All right. It looks as if our next meeting is tentatively October 12th. This is what, two weeks from today? I don't, yes. Yeah, I don't know right offhand if we're going to have it or not. I just, okay, so tentative at this point. Yep, yep. So watch for further updates. Anything else, Steve, from the city's end? No. All right. In that case, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. And a second. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Aye. Aye. Then let, we'll call ourselves adjourned. Thanks, everyone.